before I get into the nitty gritty details, if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe down below. You guys don't want to miss any of our lit videos. Follow our life, follow our journey, traveling the world on a budget. It's going to be a crazy adventure. DK Adventures you already know what's going down. So make sure you turn on the notification bell as well because you don't want to miss our videos. Let's get into the details. Sorry guys, I'm just staring at my baby right now. She's sleeping and she looks, she looks so angelic. That's my wife. That's the person I'm going to be spending the rest of my life with. That's my soulmate, my ride or die. And it gets me emotional speaking about it because it's like, I've always envisioned me building an empire with a queen, with a woman that's gonna uplift me, a woman that's gonna empower me, as well as me doing the same thing, because that's how you build an empire. And to find that at such a young age and, and build a family, DK family, build a whole YouTube community, TikTok community. It's absolutely insane to do this at such a young age. And it took me a lot of thought. Oh, look at the little mosquitoes joining in the conversation. Hello, yeah, don't bite me. You know, mosquitoes don't actually like my blood. They taste it and then they just, nope, they don't like it. So I'm out here. No mosquito spray, nothing. But getting back to the story, being in this position right now to be able to afford a ring, to be able to have the connections to make certain things possible in a foreign country halfway halfway around the world from where my original hometown is, is insane. And I'm truly, truly grateful. I'm humbled. This is a very humbling experience. And like, I'm just talking out my emotions right now. So if I'm not looking at you guys, then like, <laughs> I'm just trying to be as natural as possible, you know? Um, this week I'm going to be proposing to the love of my life This week And even just talking now makes me emotional like I said So thinking about it I'm like yo when I actually get onto one knee Am I going to be crying? Am I going to be emotional? I don't know, I don't know. Because I might not come across as an emotional guy, but when it comes to love, like I'm very passionate, you know what I'm saying? So that's my baby. And I'm trying to make her the happiest woman in the world. We booked this trip to Phuket very last minute. And one of the reasons I wanted to come to Phuket is because of the beautiful beaches. And if you're a real DK family member and you really know Gaudi or you know Gaudi from back in the days, then you know that she loves beaches. She got raised on beaches in Italy and Sardinia. That's where her grandparents live. Like she got raised there as a kid and like she's a proper island girl, you know what I'm saying? She loves the beautiful waters, the crystal waters, the beautiful sand between her toes, like she loves it. From what I've heard her say in little discussions that we have, she wants to have like the wedding ceremony and stuff like that on a beach. So I put two and two together and thought, you know what? Let me propose to her on a beach. Let me make, let me create that beautiful atmosphere and environment with the sunset and the tropical breeze and just the waves crashing. I want to create that whole just environment for her to feel something that's been rooted in her from so deep because she loves marriage. She loves the whole love story and the true meaning of it. Um, her parents have been together for such a long time and I actually had a phone call with them earlier while Kali was sleeping, um, probably 10 minutes before I've come and talked to you guys. And I've asked for Gaudi's dad's permission to propose to her and to marry her and yeah he's um he's welcomed me with open arms he's said yes he's very happy about it and her mum's very happy about it as well so i got the green light from the parents i got the green light from the soles which is very hard because this is their only daughter you have to understand that five brothers five sons and one daughter so the man that's gonna have gaudi is one of the luckiest men in the world and that's who I am right now. I'm the, one of the luckiest men in the world. So I'm very grateful. Thank you, Paolo. As, uh, if you guys have seen some of the pranks and challenges, you, you know who Paolo is. Thank you very much for giving me the permission to propose to your daughter and have this woman that's... Oh shit, she's waking up. Bro. I'm not sure if she's looking. If she is, I have to move this camera so quickly because she's going to be thinking, why the hell is he talking into a camera? 
I'm just gonna say I'm taking selfies. <laughs> Hold on. I think her eyes are closed. Bless her, she's so tired. Alright, I think I'm good. Still in the same position, that means you're sleeping, right? Alright, cool, I'm good. I'm good. So, yeah, thank you, Paolo. Thank you, Zaida, for giving me permission to propose to your daughter. Marriott Resort and Spa Nyang Beach in Phuket is going to be helping us create this dream into reality. It's going to be turning Gaudi's dream into reality, and I'm just so happy that we're able to partner with them. They're a five star resort, and they're going to be giving us one of the best rooms as well. So I'm very grateful, I'm very happy. They're gonna make a very, very beautiful setting for us for me to propose. And I'm not gonna to talk too much about it because I want the surprise to be also for you guys, not just for Kaudi. I want you guys to see and just be shocked as well because I don't know exactly what it's gonna look like. I just gave them an image and they're gonna try to create it and turn it into a reality. So it's gonna be super beautiful. And I'm just excited to make her dreams a reality. And she's, shit. I think she's looking at me. She sleep like that. Okay, I think we're good. So getting back to it guys, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna say when I propose to her. I'm just gonna speak from my heart and keep it very raw and very natural. Um she was gonna she's gonna know exactly what's real. Yeah, Kill the mosquitoes. Even though they're not they're not even trying to harm me. Guys, I'm like ooh 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 ooh. So like I was saying, I'm gonna be speaking from the heart. I'm gonna get onto one knee and just pop the big question, will you marry me? And let's see what she says. Hopefully she says yes, because if she says no, then I might just go into the sea and never return. <laughs> Imagine if she says no. What would, what would I do? No, Dante, I'm just not ready yet. I'm too young, Dante. You do this here. I don't think you're gonna to propose to me like this. This doesn't meet my satisfaction. Now, Gaudi's not like that. She wouldn't do that to me. Or would she? Well, I'm gonna get back inside because I need to edit some videos for you guys. Um, and I don't want Gaudi to wake up and see me out here like some donuts. So yeah, that's the big secret. I hope this proposal shocks you as much as it's gonna shock Gaudi. I'm just gonna finalize a few things with the PR manager at the Marriott and we're gonna get this show on the road. I'm gonna create the most beautiful proposal in 2021. Let's go. She is still sleeping. I'm gonna replace this. Angeline, please come back now, baby. Where were we? Said you changed and a lot. My baby's looking extra fly right now. Show them toes, show them toes, girl. <laughs> So 
about me being here. Little does she know, I'm gonna propose to her in less than 24 hours. Absolutely insane. It doesn't feel real yet. But it's about to be <laughs> less than 24 hours, guys. I'm gonna make this one the happiest woman in the world. Wow, look at this. We have changed, but not that much. Get some memories of catching up. It's currently 5 a.m. in the morning, Monday the 18th. I don't know if you guys can see by my puffy eyes and my messy hair that I just woke up. We were at Phuket Marriott Resort, Nyang Beach. The beach is literally right there. That's where I'm gonna be proposing. I know you guys can't see it right now, but I'm gonna show you in the daytime as well. This resort is absolutely insane. We were at one of their 15 villas that they have in this resort, and it's so beautiful. Gaudi loves it. We're taking some amazing content for these guys, and it's just so peaceful here. It's really, really peaceful. Now that I'm actually here, I'm feeling a lot better and a lot more calm because the beach is amazing. This is where I'm gonna be proposing to Gaudi and it, the sand is amazing, the surroundings are amazing. It's in a perfect location, literally. And I'm just so happy that it's gonna be in this location. She's gonna love it. The palm trees are fresh, they're healthy. The sea is beautiful. Everything's just the way it's meant to be. And I look forward to showing you guys the setup that we have planned, because it's so beautiful. We got the rose petals, we got the outdoor dinner. It's gonna be incredible. We got the photographer. It's gonna be just like, dream proposal a dream for me come true and a dream for Gaudi come true and I feel so sneaky like sneaking out uh 5 a.m in the morning my baby's sleeping and I'm out here making little videos but uh it's gonna be so good it's gonna be so good I hope you guys are looking forward to it and if you are make sure you drop a like on this video and share it with your friends your mum it's gonna be such an amazing proposal guys I look forward to making my girl's dreams come true and my dreams come true also Yes, I prepared it for you. But I asked you what it was and you said maybe your neighbors did it. Come. Oh, you're so sweet. I love you. <laughs> I know I love you. You're so cute. I love you. Wow. Wow. Hi guys. How are you? How are you? Wow. You, you helped him prepare this? She done a good job. She did a really good job. The team, the team made it. The team made it. Aww, that's so beautiful. Hello. Would you Hello. mind if we take photo of your setup? No. Yeah. He does that. He's wow. A very, he's a very good photographer. Yeah. He's very good. And you in the photo? <laughs> Dinner, alter self. <laughs> Dinner time. I'm so blessed, guys. I literally have the best boyfriend in the world. This is so romantic. My heart's like ba boom, ba boom. <laughs> Sarika. Wow, guys, look how beautiful. I get to eat dinner like right here with my baby. And this beautiful view, like wow. And he looks so beautiful.
You happy with that? Mm-hmm. Mm. You okay? <laughs> you look sunburned. <laughs> I do. So do you. So baby. You know how you're my world. And <laughs> we've been through a lot together for a, in only a short space of time, a year, year and a half. And we want to build an empire together, we said it from day one. And then we've got DK family. <laughs> we've just done a lot and we've been together every day since the first lockdown. And that shows true strength in the relationship. So I knew you were the one from the moment that we went to Switzerland. <laughs> from the moment we went to Italy and I met your parents and everything just everything was just worked from the moment we like me and Alpha distance off that was that was all signs saying like I'm meant to be with this woman so I know you're the one I want to spend the rest of that month <laughs> I know you're the one I want to spend the rest of my life with Wolf 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 <laughs> and yeah like I know we can build something really 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 big together and we're working on that. So I put in a little camera <laughs> bullet. <laughs> Go. <laughs> will you marry me? Of course I will. <laughs> you will. I can't see your blind up on my tears. So you said yes? <laughs> my baby. My brother, you know that. My <laughs> oh. How did we go from throwing up this morning to the ring of my <laughs> No more girlfriends. <laughs> no more girlfriend. Fiance. Okay. Are you stuck with me for the rest of your life? For the rest of your life. For the rest of my life. Until we old. <laughs> now you can eat. <laughs> I feel so many emotions, I'm not hungry. <laughs> I love you. Thank you, boy. <laughs> Thank you so much. She helped me set this up, and yeah, now it's reality. <laughs> it was like such a big weight off my shoulders. <laughs> what do you need a weight off your shoulders? Because, bro, <laughs> do you know what it's like sitting here, knowing that you're gonna do such a big thing, but still trying to have a normal conversation? Is that why you're struggling? Yeah. You're you practicing your speech in your head. I don't know. Like, I didn't have no speech in my head. I just said Dante, speak from the heart, and that's gonna be how it's gonna be. So the universe just played it out how it's meant to be. That looks so beautiful. Oh my god. And then one more for and tan looks even better. <laughs> that looks so good in the baby. And we go you now we gotta plan a wedding. <laughs> wedding. At least that part we get to do together. Life has come to such a long way. Let's, let's toast to that. Oh. <laughs> to us for to real. Us. I'm not your girlfriend anymore, I'm your fiance. Fun fact guys, like she hates being called girlfriend. When we say we're girlfriend and boyfriend, she hates it. So now you're my fiance That's and crazy. we're together forever, you know? I love you, Dante. I love you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Thank you for organizing this. We appreciate it. Is there here? Top man, thank you. The way everything planned out was so amazing. It was so good. I, I was a bit pressured. I didn't know, like, I was thinking, when should I do it? When should I do it? I was playing through my mind. When should I do it? Should I do it? Appetizer, dinner, before dinner. Then I saw, then I saw the battery died and I was like, ugh. Oh. But everything's happy. My baby's happy. So, now I'm my fiance. <laughs> Did you show Koi the ring? Yes. Yeah. Oh, this is beautiful, girl. It matches her necklace and her earrings. Thank you.
Thank you so much. Yes, you promise you'll come back here again, huh? Yes. Well, I say into Now like, we, this is my, this is our spot. This is mar we marked a territory here. How's it feel being a fiance? My fiance. <laughs> Amazing. And I got flowers. <laughs> I love you so much. Baby, thank you. This is the best night of my life. <laughs> now we can go back to being weird. <laughs> Guys, there was loads of people on the beach, like, watching us and just minding their own business, going for their little walks and stuff. And I was thinking, like, should I propose now? Should I propose later? Should I propose now? But, um, yeah, the perfect time came. I'd done it just before the dinner arrived. So, yeah, it was good. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed Kali's beautiful expressions on her face. And you saw me, I started when I was saying my... Um, my little proposal speech, but that's just how I am. That was a beautiful thing. You didn't stutter. You know what's actually quite funny? As you were speaking, I was like, he's not stuttering. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> the fact that you're even thinking about that is crazy. No, but it's like, I was like, okay, while he's speaking like very clearly, I was like, I was thinking like, he must have like prepared a speech or something. Cause it's like, you were going at it. And I was like, okay, he's going at it. And then you went, Durr! and I was like, that's my baby. That's my baby. Uh. Now we're going to enjoy our night and our desserts come into our room as well so we're going to enjoy some chocolate dessert. I am your dessert. <laughs> and that's where this video ends guys. I love you guys love so you much. Guys Thank so you for much. following the journey. We appreciate you and watch out for the next vlog. Cause I'm almost there Now I see you through the 